Hi everyone, so I'm going to be presenting for Group D and we put together a Cabrillo Student Survival Guide. And uh, first we're going to start with any advice for living situations and um, Carmen suggests, you know, whether you're on your own with housemates or with family, just making sure you're in a healthy environment. That way, um, you know, you're being treated with respect and this can help like with your studies so you don't have to worry about any like outside factors. Um, a little advice on some schoolwork. Uh, Naomi suggests the Computer Technology Center or CTC. Um, and that's a center for tech tutoring and support, including but not limited to help with Canvas, Adobe, Microsoft, accounting and business, password reset, and class registration support. Um, there's also the hub, um, and that's tutoring and academic support services, which include um, uh, math and English and English writing and reading tutoring uh, with no appointments required and appointment-based multi-subject tutoring. Um, there's the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Center, STEM. Um, and it's home to the MESA MES -E Study Center, uh, Physics Learning Center, and CIS Networking Lab. They also help with academic career and financial aid advice and assisting with applying to scholarships, internships, and research experiences and have a calculator and laptop checkout programs. Naomi also suggests the Integrated Learning Center, ILC, um, and it's basically the hub and STEM center combined, but it's at Cabrillo's Watsonville campus. Um, some helpful study habits Kiana suggests is not to wait until the last minute. Um, and also if there's any like SI or tutor sessions available for your courses, um, definitely take advantage of those. And then also do a little bit of studying every day so your workload doesn't get too excessive. Um, and then you're also like revisiting the same information over so your brain is more inclined to remember something that you're um, looking at over and over again. Um, so for tutors, Carmen mentions um, the hub again, once again, um, but you can maybe work with somebody outside and they may offer some help to others um, and then passing the word around can also help other students. Um, Carmen also suggests to communicate with your instructor. Um, so that means like let them know if you're unable to complete homework on time or even if there's a possible way to turning in any assignments late or um, gaining some extra credit to make some points up. Some advice on saving money. Um, Kiana suggests to definitely grocery shop instead of eating out every day. So like any of the local grocery shops pick up um, some groceries instead of you know spending the money and going out to restaurants, fast food, stuff like that. Um, some fun and inexpensive things to do around town is obviously the beach. And there's also this state park um, on Aptos Creek Road that's really beautiful. So that's something uh, fun to pass the time. And then um, budgeting, Kiana suggests setting small goals on what on each month and what you can sp on what you can spend and then what you should save. Um, credit cards. Um, Carmen suggests uh, credit cards teaching students how to be smart and how to choose a credit card. Um, and then also to look into its benefits since you know, credit cards and even credit in general can be tricky. Um, um, advice on navigating the system. Um, so if you're new to Cabrillo, definitely meet with a counselor. Um, they're, they're able to lay out like your classes and how to register. Even for me, like it made all the difference. I was so, everything was so foreign. And once I met with my counselor, he made everything so much clearer. Um, and then also um, some good practices is to arrive early for like your first class, um, especially if it's in a building or a room that you've never been to before. Um, that way, you know, you're not pressed for time and you're running around a, a large campus looking for your building and then the classroom. So definitely arrive early or even like a day before just to get acclimated. And that way when you go, you know, to class the next day, you know exactly where you're going. Um, but yeah, the campus is overwhelming, but it does get easier with each term. Um, Naomi suggests, um, if you want to transfer, um, there's the Transfer Adminis Admission Guarantee and the TAG program. It's a program for California community college students to earn a guaranteed acceptance to six participating UCs, including UC Davis, UC Irvine, UC Merced, UC Riverside, UC Santa Barbara, and UC Santa Cruz. So if the school you want isn't on the list, you can see a counselor to help you get all the classes you need to transfer to your desired school. Um, and then it makes things a little easier on you that way. Uh, let's see. Um, Carmen 
um, has some insight about internships. Um, they're important for each career and in order to start somewhere. So once you meet with a counselor, talk to them about internships and how this can help you and uh, maybe add credit and experience to your record. Um, so those are a couple things about um, you know the school and how to navigate and um, if you're new or even if you've been here for a while, these are some good practices um, to get you a little bit more familiar with Cabrillo. So thank you.